Welcome to our video exploring the captivating world of foreign movies from the 1930s. Travel back in time with us as we delve into the era that witnessed the rise of cinematic masterpieces outside Hollywood's borders. From epic dramas to whimsical comedies, these international films offer a unique glimpse into diverse cultures and storytelling styles across continents. Get ready to embark on a journey filled with glamour, creativity, and unforgettable performances as we shine a spotlight on these hidden gems from the golden age of cinema. M. 1931, directed by Fritz Lang, M. is a German thriller film that tells the story of a child murderer who terrorizes a city. The film explores the psychological and moral dilemmas faced by both the criminal underworld and the law enforcement trying to catch him. Peter Lorre delivers an outstanding performance as Hans Beckert, capturing the essence of disturbed obsession with chilling authenticity. What sets M, apart from other films of its time, is its innovative approach to storytelling and cinematography. Lang's use of various techniques such as montage editing, long takes, and expressionistic lighting creates a tense atmosphere that keeps viewers on edge throughout the entirety of the movie. The choice to also include sound design ahead of its time adds an extra dimension to the movie. Additionally, M examines themes such as justice, collective responsibility, and mob mentality through thought-provoking scenes that challenge societal norms. It presents a complex portrayal of good and evil where even those seeking justice must grapple with ethical dilemmas. The Lady Vanishes, 1938. The Lady Vanishes, directed by Alfred Hitchcock in Britain, is a classic mystery comedy that showcases Hitchcock's signature suspenseful storytelling style mixed with charm and wit. Set against the backdrop of European international intrigue leading up to World War II, the story revolves around Iris Henderson, Margaret Lockwood, who becomes suspicious when her elderly traveling companion disappears during their journey on a train bound for England after vacationing in Switzerland. With help from handsome musician Gilbert Redman, Michael Redgrave, they begin an investigation which reveals much more than initially anticipated. The film strikes an effective balance between tension-building suspense and comedic elements through well-drawn characters like Charters, Naunton Wayne, and Caldecott, Basil Radford. Their humorous banter lightens the mood amid dangerous circumstances while adding depth to their personalities. Hitchcock masterfully creates a feeling of unease by skillfully utilizing different technical elements, such as camera angles, lighting, and sound design. The pacing is tight, ensuring that the audience remains engaged and invested in the unraveling mystery until its satisfying conclusion. The 39 Steps, 1935. The 39 Steps is another British thriller directed by Alfred Hitchcock that showcases his brilliance in creating suspenseful narratives filled with intrigue and adventure. Based on John Buchan's novel of the same name, the film follows Richard Hannay, Robert Donut, who becomes involved in a web of spies and espionage after meeting a mysterious woman who is later murdered. The movie's strength lies in its gripping plotline and memorable set pieces. Hitchcock employs his mastery of visual storytelling to create tension through intense chase sequences and cleverly constructed scenarios filled with danger at every turn. The 39 Steps also incorporates dry British humor into its narrative as Hannay finds himself improvising through various humorous encounters. Hitchcock's deliberate choice to use framing techniques skillfully accentuates the plot while delivering a visually striking experience for viewers. Moreover, Robert Donut delivers an exceptional performance as Richard Hannay. His charm, wit, and vulnerability make him an incredibly relatable protagonist even amid extraordinary circumstances. The Grand Illusion, 1937, directed by Jean Renoir from France, The Grand Illusion, stands as one of cinema's greatest war dramas exploring themes such as class division, camaraderie among soldiers from different nations, set during World War I in German prisoner of war camps, Henri Fresny, Jean Gabin, shares moments of friendship with fellow officer Captain de Boldieu, Pierre Fresnay. They connect above traditional national boundaries but soon discover that even they are still subject to societal divisions created by their differing backgrounds. Renoir's remarkable ability to humanize all characters regardless of nationality or rank grants The Grand Illusion, a unique perspective on the futility of war and the interconnectedness of humanity. The film's emotional impact is amplified through its beautifully crafted cinematography and hauntingly poignant scenes, such as de Boldieu playing a piano while arrested. 
The Grand Illusion has had a lasting influence on both cinema and war movies specifically due to its powerful message, intricate character development, and portrayal of the shared human experiences that bridge differences between individuals. It remains a timeless masterpiece which resonates with audiences even after nearly a century since its initial release.